In this problem, we are given a circuit diagram right here. We are told that a voltmeter with internal resistance of 100 kilo ohms is used to measure the voltage via AB in the circuit shown. So we know we have a resistance in between our A and B, which is 100 kilo ohms. We need to find the voltage of A of B. And we know the voltage formula is current times resistance. So we're going to write V is equal to I A of B, because we don't know the current for this. But we do know the resistance, and this is 100 kilo ohms. So now we need to find the resistance for this. To find the resistance, we can use current division. However, we're going to have to manipulate our circuit diagram to get it to be current divisible. When we look at this first, we can see that our voltage for our equation is going to be going this way for the 36 volts. Since it is going up, that means when we rewrite this using source transformations, that our current is going to be going down. So our voltage is going like this, and our current is going down. Using source transformation, this 36 volts, we are going to rewrite as a current, and this 12 kilo ohm resistor is going to not be in series, but in parallel with it right here. If we redraw the circuit like this, nothing on the right side has changed, but we will now have a 12 kilo ohm resistor here. And we are also going to have a current over here that's going down like this. To find our current, we're just going to use Ohm's law, where we have current is equal to voltage over resistance. We know the voltage to be 36 volts, and we know the resistance to be 12 kilo ohms. This is going to give us a current of three milliamps. The conversion from kilo to milliamps is pretty simple, but we can go over it real quick. So we're going to have a times, because we need to convert this to ohms, and we're going to have one K up here to cancel out the K, and a 10 cubed down here. Well, when we do this math, we can actually flip this 10 cubed up, and it's going to be a 10 negative cubed. And a 10 negative cubed is equal to 1 milli, and that's how we get 3 milliamps. So we know that the current going through here is 3 milliamps. Looking at the nodes, we can look at the node here, and we know the current is going into it, and this current, this 3 milliamp, is going out of it. It's going out of the node. So what we can do is, since these are both going to the same node, we can add them together. When we add them together, we're going to get a 15 milliamps. And since our 18 milliamps is greater, we're still going to be going in the upwards direction. Now we can rewrite this. We know that we're going to have a 12 kilo ohm resistor right here. And we know that we're going to have a 60 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with it. And then we're also going to have a 15 kilo ohm resistor right here. Then we have our terminals A and B. And inside of our terminals A and B, we know we have a resistance of 100 kilo ohms. We know that our 15 kilo ohms and our 100 kilo ohms are in series, so we can just add them together. For our 12 kilo ohms and our 60 kilo ohms, these are in parallel, so we're going to have to use the parallel formula with them. So when we redraw this, we're going to have our 15 milliamp current going up like this. We're going to have our resistance, which is now 10 kilo ohms since we combined both of our 12 and 60 kilo ohm resistors together and then we're going to have our terminals A and terminal B and in between them we're going to have our 115 kilo ohms of resistance. Knowing all this we can look back into section 3.3 which has a current division. We need to find the current of AB and to do this we're going to say A of B is equal to the current across from it which we know to be 10 kilo ohms and this is over both of the currents added together, so 115 kilo ohms plus 10 kilo ohms. That's going to give us 125 kilo ohms, and this is being multiplied by the source current, which is 15 milliamps. If we do all of this, we're going to get that our I A of B is equal to 1.2 milliamps. So when we look at our voltage of A of B, we're going to have our 1.2 milliamps, and then we're going to convert this to just amps, so we're going to have 1 milli underneath 10 negative cubed, this is being multiplied by our 100 kilo ohm resistor, and this is 10 cubed on top. We're going to cancel some stuff out. We can cancel out the m's for milli. We can cancel out these 10s because they're opposites, and we can cancel out the k. When we do this, we are going to get that our v subscript a of b is equal to 120 volts. So this is the answer to this problem. If you want more videos on introduction to circuit analysis, there's a playlist linked below as well as notes that will help with these problems or study for exams.